In this video, we are going to decode a message. Hello, this is Jagan from Growth Data. I am posting this video to share my knowledge in Python language with you. If this assists you in your interview preparation anyways, I will be happy. I have created a playlist Python interview questions 51 to 100 and I will be tagging this video to that playlist. The code we discuss in this video will be posted on GitHub and the link will be provided in the video description. Now let's see a sample input data and we can talk about the question in detail. So we are given two input variables. One is the keyword, the another one is the message. So the keyword is a cipher key and the message is a secure secret message. The step to decode the message, the secret message is, a, is of four steps. First one is use the keyword first and convert that into a format of 26 letters. How that forms is you get the first appearance of all the 26 lowercase English letters. The key is in the order of its own. So you convert that to a 26 in, uh, alphabets of this order with the first appearance of the letter. So if you have this, all right. so this is a, one of the famous uh, sentence which use all the 26 alphabets. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. If this is the keyword, what you have to do is you have to get the first appearance of the letters. T H E is the first and you ignore the space. Quick P R O W N brown and F and O is already there, already, already here. So we ignore the O. F X J U is already there and M no we have to need the M P S O is there V and T H E is also there L A Z Y O is already there. So we remove the space and the second appearance of the letter. So all the first appearance letters are stored in the order. The second one is you align this new formed uh, keyword right with the regular English alphabet. If you see this, this is what the input key is, the, the uh, modified input key. Align that with the regular alphabet. T points to A, H points to B, E points to C like that. So it goes till Z, all the 26 alphabets. Now with that message, right? So whatever the message we get, you map with this keyword. So if you say the message is like this, right? So now you go in here, you put this message and then you copy whatever comes here. So first you split that into a form. Now we split that word. Let's zoom this up. So now we split the input message into their old format. Now we are going to match with the alphabet. So V points to, where is V here? Yes, here. So V points to T. So here it's T. K points to H. K points to H and then B points to I. S points to the same, yes. And then B points to I, S points to S again, so yes. And T points to A, S points to S again. U points to E and then C, R, E, T. So the message when decoded, it shows this is a secret. So this is what the encoded message is. So how will you do this in Python? So all the four steps has to be done through Python. So how will you do that? First thing is we have to get the keyword and then you convert that to a 
way that you get only the first appearance of the alphabet. The space and the repeated uh, letters has to be ignored and by default the input keyword should have all the 26 alphabets. Okay, let's keep this as the input variable and we go for the function grow with data the inputs are keyword and the message so first we are going to define a dictionary the key is going to be the dictionary key now and we are going to have a count here now I'm going to read every character from this keyword for val in key. So I'm going to get every character from the, the keyword. It's keyword. I'm going to say if the value that every character not in the dictionary key i show you how the dictionary key is updated and not val equal to space right we are ignoring the space and then if the the character the val is a yeah, repeated character then you have to ignore it right and if it's not then we are going to say the dictionary key of that value equal to i have to get the alphabet english alphabets so how will i get it basically if you say a right so how will you get the numerical one the char chr of 97 is a right so the ord version of a is 97 Right now, we are going to use this chr of 97. So the a starts with 97, right? So if you want to get the c, then a, b, and c plus 2. If I say 97 plus 2, then I get c. So this way, I'm going to put the abcd format here. So I say chr of 97 by default is small a, which is the first letter. And whatever the count comes after this, we are going to increment that regular alphabet. Now I'm going to increase the count. So next time it will be B and then C, D kind of thing. Now let's print this dict key and see how it works. not so dict key print sorry i have to print the dict key so if you see this t points to a h points to b e points to c so that's how you did that t h e is a b c right so that's how it is T H E S A B C. So the whole input keyword has been mapped with the regular alphabet now. If I want to know what is the mapping for N, N is pointing to M. Q is pointing to D. So I can get it from this dictionary. Great. Now I use this dictionary to decode. I am going to have the final result the decoded value into the result variable now i am going to read every character from the message m in message i am going to result dot append oh first i would say what is m if m equal to space right if there's space, you have to carry that space. No need to do anything. Result dot append that character. 
if it's space that's the character else if it's a valid alphabet then we just say result dot append whatever the key value pair in the dictionary we get the value dict key of the m so the dictionary what is the value for the particular key and you just add that to the end now if you print the result it's throwing an error dict key dict key is not defined so we have the dict key is there any spelling mistake oh d i c k okay dict key now if you see this the value has been decoded this is a secret so but it this is a list of elements i have to make it as a string so i just use join so that list becomes a string now i am going to return this t u r n return the value so i will get the decoded string here now if i want to check multiple values then i can use the assert function a s s e r t oops and i cleared both the test cases so if you see the code it's very simple two step process the one is you get the keyword and then create a dictionary of this kind the input key matches with the alphabet so once you have that dictionary then you go with the message and read every character from the message and then use the dictionary and see hey this is the key what is the value and then store that value in the result variable and when you return it you just concatenate and you return so you get the string as the output so in this code we can do a small fine tuning part this code looks good but since i have the if and else this looks a bit simple right so i don't want to have the four liner code i can make a single uh, line code i am going to say result dot append m if the m is blank else if it is not blank then you append the dictionary key so the if and else i just put in one line saying that you append to the list a cm if the m is blank a space if not you go to the dictionary and get the value based on the key if i run this i get the same result not a big change but this looks more uh, readable right yeah if you want to see this code then you go to the Grow growth data youtube channel playlist and this will be in the python entry questions 51 to 100 there's a tamil version also tamil python entry questions 51 to 100 if i go here in the description part you have the github link it will take you to the code base for that particular video so we are in the 82nd video and you have the first version you put in and then the if condition is replaced by the single line of code i think i have to add the assert in before this but you can use this code for your practice if you want to join the whatsapp channel there is a link here you can use this link and join growth data whatsapp channel hope you like this video and thanks for watching